I know you guys love it when we do quick and easy activities. So today we're gonna do some really, really easy ones that you're gonna wanna do right away. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. Quick and easy, that's what you guys like, and I'm gonna put this video in that playlist for all things quick and easy, because today we are using Q-tips for some educational activities, and the best part is I was able to find all different kinds of skill levels, so there's probably gonna be something for your child, and then maybe something that you can save for later when they can get to it or they're a little bit more advanced. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe because I do educational activities for children. I also review my favorite products, and we do a lot of DIYs and giveaways, so you don't want to miss out on those. But let's get back to our Q-tip activities. So to start off, you're going to need some paint. I'm going to use some watercolors today. You can also use acrylic paints. And of course, you're going to need some cotton swabs because this whole video is about cotton swabs. All of the resources that I am pulling these things from, if like there's a free printable, I'll make sure to put those down below so you can go and check those out. So the first set of sheets I have for you are from 3D Dinosaurs. I think I've shown these to you before, but in the do a dot marker, so it's very similar. It's Q-tip pre-writing practice, so the little dots are smaller um, than you would use for the do a dot sheets. And there are several different sheets here, all different patterns, different sh you know shapes and things like that, so you would just pick one of these or two of these or however many you want to do and it's just as easy as dotting and of course for this you want to go from left to right because what you're doing is priming your child for writing so we write from left to right so we need to start on the sheet from left to right too and all they would do is just put one dot in each little spot and go all the way across if you wanted to you could do patterns you could switch up the colors you can do a rainbow all the way to the end very simple very easy and I bet they will be very interested in finishing their page so for this next activity you don't need anything but a piece of paper and a pen and this is going to be for counting by tens up to a hundred so draw ten circles on your paper you want to make them big enough so that you can um, do your dots in them and then you choose a color and do ten in each circle so this becomes a counting exercise from one through 10. And then as you fill up all of the squares, you can learn how to count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way to 100. This next one, you don't even need the paint at all, but if you have a straw, I have the large milkshake ones here. You can also use regular size straws. Cut them up into maybe about an inch long pieces. Definitely smaller than the Q-tip itself. And then this is a threading exercise. So you take the Q-tip and your child will thread the Q-tip inside. Now with the bigger milkshake straws, it's going to be a little bit easier because the opening's wider. So if you use the smaller straws, it'll be a little bit more difficult, but this is excellent fine motor practice. You can get different colored straws if you wish and just thread them all in there. Might even be a fun activity to do before you start using the Q-tips for painting. So since we're talking about counting by tens, these are 10 frames and I've seen these um, all over Pinterest in different forms. These are all numbers above 10, so 10 to 20. And these came from a Teachers Pay Teacher site that will be linked down below. But this is counting out the numbers that's shown. Uh, for instance, this is 19. So you'd place 19 dots in the 10 frames to get your answer. I chose this one because it has a snowman kind of wintry theme. I thought this one was adorable and suitable if you have kids of different ages. It is a rainbow Q-tip dot. There's different pages in here, so I wanna kind of show you the different ones. So this one, you would dot the word rainbow. This one, you dot the word rainbow and do the rainbow. So you could use this as a guide if your child doesn't know the colors of the rainbow and the order they come in. And then it goes into each individual color all the way through to violet. And then at the end, she's got this really great page where she has the name of the color plus the letters that they start with up at top and the rainbow. So they could do all three on these cards. And I liked these sheets, particularly because your child can use all the colors. So if you have a child like mine that likes to use every single color, then this one is a definite must. If you're just starting out with your alphabet, this little worksheet is great. I just went and found this out of one of our dry erase tracing books, but you can print out an alphabet, use flashcards, um, write them out yourself. And this one is a tracing. So instead of dotting on this, you're just actually tracing the letter. And so this is just getting used to writing and knowing which strokes come where. You could also do that with shapes. You can do it with numbers. Lots of ideas that way. So if tracing letters is just a little bit too easy, maybe you're working on things like sight words, this might be a really great option for you. Um, these are from By Lavina Pop, and there are a couple of sheets here of just some sight words. 
You can certainly make your own of these, but you would dot each letter of the word and then use it for sight word practice. If you have a dry erase board or a chalkboard, go ahead and write out shapes or letters or numbers, whatever you're working on, and you can take a Q-tip and erase each one. This will probably keep your child pretty busy trying to get all of that off. And this one, same thing will work for a chalkboard. Back in December, I showed you guys a snowflake Q-tip card game, but you can do something very, very similar and easy. You just mimic a shape, you could even draw it if you wish, and then have your child repeat the shape that you've made with the Q-tips. Or you can have your child come up with a design of their own, kind of using your STEM skills there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this. And if you do any of these activities, tag me on Instagram because I love seeing what you do. Comment down below. I always read the comments and give me a thumbs up to show your love.